that's the image that I want to portray. So let's begin and um, welcome to Channeling Create. Today is March the 14th, 2021. And so let's begin by just starting to tune into ourselves. So let's do that by starting to focus on our own breathing. So intentionally focus on your breathing to breathe in as much as you can. And when you can breathe in no more than let go, let the whole breath go, leave nothing behind. And then keep on breathing in again. And intentionally put your attention on your breath. And also intentionally think of nothing else. Just focus on your breath as though you have to remember how to breathe, which muscle to use when you breathe in and which muscle to relax when you breathe out. Focus on those. And allow your mind to be free. And continue to focus on the rhythm of your own breathing. Start to elongate your breathing. Take as long as it's comfortable for you to breathe in. And when you can breathe in no more, then take as long as it is comfortable for you to breathe out. When you elongate your breath, you also signal to your body that is time to relax, time to let go of any tension in your body. And start to feel your head, your shoulders, and then the rest of your body starting to feel the relaxation. And when you feel relaxed in your body and in your mind as well, then start to switch your focus into your heart. And then imagine that you can actually breathe into your heart. And as you breathe out, breathe out anything that is taking you away from this moment, from your heart. When you feel your attention is in your heart area, you then choose, choose to feel unconditional love. Choose to feel unconditional love 
for yourself and also for anything that is beyond yourself. Let this unconditional love that you're choosing now be the glue that joins you to the rest of creation. So that you and the rest of creation become one. Until you no longer feel that there is any difference between inside you and beyond you. It is all just one spirit. Flowing easily and freely just like your breath as you breathe in it is you and as you breathe out it is also you Be in the rapture, the joy of unconditional love. Be in the rapture of peace, of joy, light, love. For that is who you truly are. Take nothing else with you. This unconditional love is all you need. It is your best compass and path to lead you to create to create the path that you're moving forward in each and every moment you move forward ever so slightly it is human you want to figure out which direction you want to head out to. You want to know what's happening next. However, the kicker is that once you start to plan things out, once you start to demand that you know where you're going, you actually shift yourself out of the momentum of where energy and spirit is taking you. Spirit Your soul Being part of spirit Does not know 
the end result. It does not know a direction. There is nowhere to go. Your soul is in charge of your experience. Wherever you go, the destination, the direction, is not necessarily important to your soul. What is important to your soul is the experience. Experience that is going to move your consciousness along. that allow your consciousness to grow. From a little seed into a plant, into a flower. That is what is important to your soul. Your soul is managing and directing your experience. It is encouraging you to shift and transform in order to get from one set of experience to a higher level of experience. That is the work of your soul. That is the journey of your soul. If your mind is telling you, is trying to tell you that you need to live in a certain kind of house, be in a certain kind of relationship, or dress a certain way, or be treated a certain way, to have a destination, that is what your mind tells you, or your ego tells you, what your soul wants you to do. is to arrange for you to have certain experience so that you're no longer limited by your mind, by your ego to free you, to free your soul to have your soul be so free that it can choose. It can choose according to your consciousness, the kind of experience 
that you want to have from within you to unfold. It is not to say that you cannot have that house or that you cannot have that relationship or that you cannot live in style and dress in style that you prefer. That is not what we are saying. What we are saying is that when you free your soul then you would be able to feel that level of satisfaction that you thought from your mind that having that house is going to give you or having that relationship is going to give you. It is a matter of putting the cart or the horse in front. When you free your mind you would be able to enjoy the bliss that you thought living in that house may give you. You may or may not be living in that house, but whatever place that you live in, you are living in it with the bliss and the happiness that you bought materials, that things outside of you is going to give you. The soul knows that it's the other way around when you feel that bliss, that joy, then that house or something better will show up and relationship that will give you the bliss and the joy will show up as well. And all the material things that you thought you need in order to be happy will come to you when you are actually happy. How much joy can you hold in your body? Ask yourself this question, how much joy can you hold and experience in your body? Then ask yourself this question, this next question, how much joy are you allowing yourself to experience in this body? Are they the same answer? Do you get the same answer? 
We hope that you do. We hope that you allow yourself, give yourself free permission to experience all the joy, light, love that your body can possibly hold. Because that is the aim of your soul. The aim of the soul aim of your multi-dimensional magnificent eternal soul wants it knows joy it knows bliss it knows peace and love and gratitude. It knows all of that. It has all of that within. All of that is within your soul. And your soul wants to be able to inhabit a body that allows it to experience all of these. And that is the journey of the soul, is to be in partnership with you with your body, with your mind, to create a consciousness that will allow your eternal soul to experience all that it is equipped to experience while it is still in your body. while it is still in your mind. To free your mind and your body to the point that it agrees with your soul. To embrace all that there is to embrace. to let go of all limitations that you thought your body has. To free your mind from all the limitations that it has put on itself. A soul's aim and journey is to free you so that you can experience and embody all of your soul.
Are you ready to receive all of your soul to embody all of it? Not just bits and pieces here and there that fits in with your past experiences, that fits in with your current knowledge. But all of your soul that includes so much more than what you currently think of as being possible to experience, possible to feel in this body. There is so much more Are you ready to allow yourself to welcome those experiences in? With open arms, with full confidence, knowing that you are the creator of all your own experiences. That you are in control. When you are in control, When you are in control, you know that there is nothing to fear. Everything is happening for you to shift you, to expand you. to guide you, to allow yourself allowing a very simple and powerful concept. Allow yourself to be the best version of you. Not necessarily a perfect version of yourself, but the best version of yourself. There is a difference. The difference is judgment. Be beyond judgment. Be you. Be the most authentic version of you. In every moment of now, be that best version of you.
allow yourself to be that, to be free to be you. Free yourself from the gaze of judgment, of other people's judgment. Of the perceived judgment of other people because there are no one else outside of you. There is only you allowing yourself to be the best and most authentic version of you possible in this moment. That is the soul's journey. Their guide to always Look within for that guidance. There is no map. There is no destination. There is no path. No path. No path that you can see, no path that someone else has created for you, none of that. There is only you. There is only you making the choice. at each moment to trust yourself, to trust the guidance from within you in that moment of time. Sometimes it may feel like that it is the wrong thing the wrong path. Sometimes they may feel like that. It may look like that because things are not happening in the way that you thought it ought to happen. It never does, almost never. But when you look for that guidance inside of you, when you ask and get the signs that show you what your next step is 
and you take that next step. And you experience all that comes with that next step. And you keep you keep on that trust. You keep on that guidance that vibration that brings you a direction that your soul recognize and only your soul can recognize. That is the way to move forward. That is the way to create a path where none existed before. Trust the guidance of your soul. It is a feeling. It is an inner knowing. It is not logic. It is an inner knowing. When you know, you know. You don't have to think. In fact, thinking may not be helpful. In your inner knowing, when you know, That is when you are connected with your soul and surrender to the guidance of your soul. In synchronicities, start to happen
more and more. It becomes easy. It becomes a joy to move with ease with the rhythm of your soul. That is the way forward. So it is time to perch, time to perch in the things, the people, or the places. that is holding you down, that is whispering, convincing you to not listen to your soul. Let go of those. Let your soul be light. Do not weigh it down with too, with too much thoughts or too many beliefs. Travel light, pack light, all you need. It's your soul, your inner knowing, and your allowance for yourself. to allow all that your soul can bring in to your life. All the blessing, all the bliss, all the joy, all the light and all the love, all that your eternal soul can hold. Allow those to be fully embodied. We encourage you
you start shedding, letting go of what is weighing you down. Let your soul soar, soar to new heights. Let more light in. Embrace joy, light, love. That is all you are. It's time to let the rest go. It is time to allow your soul to come home. Allow your soul to come home. Come home to who you truly are. Thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing us to be with you this evening. We love you. Thank you.